My name is Paul Griffiths and I'm Technical Director of the Advanced Technology Group at Riverbed Technology. And ATG, as we affectionately abbreviate it to, is kind of a conduit between our engineering and development teams at headquarters in San Francisco. So we've been working very hard behind the scenes at Riverbed to ensure that our products are, are, are software-defined WAN capable. What does this mean? Three things, I think, really. Uh, the idea of uh, cost savings or, or cost benefits, operating benefits. SD-WAN is allowing organizations to choose what type of network connectivity they use between their branch offices uh, or users, because they might actually be in branch offices. They could be just literally mobile, moving around, uh, back to where their applications lie, which could be back in the data center or it could be in public cloud-based infrastructure. Choosing that network is key because I may have as an organization a choice of one or two or more MPLS service providers, giving me a, a robust network connection which is highly reliable. I kind of pay for that. The alternative is I could use internet-based connectivity. And a lot of organizations are now matching those two or, or taking advantage of both of those uh, types of connectivity. Internet is great, it's a lot lower cost, you usually get quite a lot more bandwidth, but the security and the visibility is the compromise that you actually uh, have to uh, hand over when you, when you go to that uh, type of scenario. So SD-WAN allows me to make a choice, and there's some cost savings there. The other piece about it uh, is back to my applications that I'm using across those networks. So I can choose with SD-WAN over which network connection each application is being delivered. More than that, I can also, if one of those network connections is either congested because I'm sending too much stuff down there, or it fails for some reason, I can dynamically switch my application conversations to the alternative. So I get application availability and performance. In, when I say performance, it could be acceleration, but equally, it could just be a consistent behavior of the application. Because sometimes uh, I, I have this concept of, everybody says, oh yeah, sorry, can't serve you today, the application is down. Actually, these days, I would say, um, slow is the new down. Everybody talks about things not operating at the speed that they want, uh, and that is, is just even as an end user and a consumer on public internet, nobody likes slow websites. The third thing about SD-WAN is perhaps the most important piece of all, and that is simplicity. The whole concept of customers' networking environments has become so complex with uh, application sprawl and applications being hosted in so many different environments because companies choose to do it that way. They get plenty of benefits in terms of agility and ease of access, but then you've got to manage all of those connections and the components that make up your networking environment. Software-defined WAN allows you to configure and control your routers, your switches, your access points, uh, all of the branch office interconnectivity from a central point and define that configuration from an application perspective, not from a networking component perspective. So somebody once said to me, hey, so does that mean I don't need to configure my routers and my firewalls anymore? Uh, yes, simple as that. So you no longer have to log in via some, some keyboard and screen and configure all of your routing tables uh, because you want a particular application to go this way or that way, one day or the next. You actually just define policies and business intents, as in this is how my business works, this is how they use applications in these branch offices, with these users, with this degree of availability. Create a top level policy with an application view and allow that policy to be translated down through software defined WAN into your network. When we talk about software defined WAN in a general sense, then we, we can see and customers uh, realize the sorts of benefits that they get. What we've been doing uh, in the background is developing 
uh, a brand new platform, which currently we're calling Project Tiger. And throughout the year 2000, uh, 2016, uh, we will be releasing prod, uh, products as part of Project Tiger, which have a complete SD-WAN focus. So even though our existing Steelhead product line is already SD-WAN capable, we're designing from the ground up a completely uh, a revolutionary platform which is focusing on the SD-WAN environment. Combined with a recent acquisition of a company called Acido, we've now got a fully uh, complete, I would say, portfolio of software-defined branch networking products. Uh, giving customers the ability to, going back to the zero branch IT messaging, not only reduce their application server footprint in the branch office, but also, and providing a zero touch deployment for that, but in partnership with that, including all your wireless access points, your switches, your firewalls, gateways, router devices, and so forth, all in one uh, software defined package.